ಶ್ರೀಅದ್ವೈತಾಧರ್ ಶಿವಾಸಿ ಗೌರಿ ಭಕ್ತ ಬಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಐಮ್ ವೆರಿ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ಫುಲ್ ಟು ಹಿಸ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಮಧುಕಾನ್ ಪ್ರಭು ಫಾರ್ ಇನ್ ವೈಡಿಂಗ್ ಮೀ ಟು ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ಫ್ಯೂ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಅಮಾಂಗ್ ಯು Madhura Prabhu is very generous in glorifying uh, unworthy people also. So, this is his heart, what he thinks the other devotees. So, he is magnanimous in that. And thank you for his sweet words for me. So, today we got a today is very auspicious day as all of you know today is the appearance of our most beloved lord shringa dev so the other day i was talking to one devotee that how that wishing there is so special and today when we are chanting the holy name we have a great opportunity to ask a special benedictions and mercy you know, from lord nishinga dev normally when you chant papa used to say that our chanting should be in the form of baby's cry so when a baby is crying for the benediction the baby is crying for uh, the help from mother a baby is crying for shelter from mother so in the same way devotee they generally chant while crying inside and asking for the favor from the lord so that is the uh best way to chant the holy name while this is what prabhupada has taught that we are asking for the service so service and mercy we, we need both in this age that everything is going against the spiritual way of life we need the special mercy of lord nishinga dev so nishinga dev has appeared in the form of half man half lion and the way of his delivering his devotees is attracting unlimited devotees throughout the world why because he is known for bhakta vassal he is known for protecting his devotees he is known for giving causeless mercy so i was talking to one devotee the other day that was i was sharing with you that nishinga dev is a form whom the lord himself like like sometime when you <clears throat> when you create something you have certain things when you create something you have certain things that you like and you don't like you know so like for example if you if you if you are a good cook you make ma- you make many preparations but if still you have certain few 
selections that oh i like this more i like this you know i make this one good this is good i can cook this good or you know when you so when you create anything you also have some liking of what your own creation and i like this one so lord nishinga dev is also incarnation of lord himself but krishna he likes his own form krishna likes three forms one is krishna himself second is lord ram and third is lord nishinga dev so nishinga dev is very famous very dear form of the lord even krishna also likes that form <clears throat> so shri prabhupad he wanted that all the devotees they should pray to lord nishinga dev every single day because we are going through such a hard time in material world so we need his protection every uh, every moment because lord nishinga dev appeared to destroy the demonic qualities the demonic uh, entities like hiranyakashipu when he appeared hiranyakashipu he attacked but lord nishinga dev very easily killed all the demonic army and he wanted to protect pralad <laughs> so pralad even though he was a small boy but he was um, possessing all the wonderful divine qualities of a devotee so we should request the mood what pralad has from lord nishinga dev today is this auspicious day we can ask lord nishinga dev for his mercy in various things we need his mercy to remove the demoniac uh, tendencies within our heart we want his mercy to destroy the anarthas within our heart all of us have a lot of shortcomings within us all of us are attracted by illusory energy of the lord all of us are facing challenges while chanting the holy name and all of us have attractions towards those things which are not favorable to krishna consciousness so we need a special mercy that lord nishinga dev he he is appearing today so we can request lord nishinga dev to destroy that unwanted things within our heart so that we can chant the holy name more attentively because when you chant and you are still making offenses and we are still attractions towards material world so it is it is something that we are Uh, making efforts but we are not progressing like prabhupad used to give an example that uh, a marriage party was going from in the early days they were going by boat so one night all the marriage party all um, the, the groom side they were all were supposed to travel by boat and that boatman said all of you can take rest no problem tomorrow morning we will reach at our destination all of you can take rest no problem and all of them they slept and the next day morning when they woke up they asked oh shall we, uh, we have reached and boatman said well the entire night i was driving the boat yeah. but they said no we are still there we didn't move even an inch 
No, I was driving the boat. Entire night I didn't sleep. But then they saw that the anchor was not removed yet. So the entire night was wasted. So that's why same thing is mentioned in Chaitanya Chaitamrit. Bahu Janma Kare Jadi Shavana Kirtana Tabutona Paya Krishna Pade Premadhana. We chant for so many lifetimes, but if we are not refraining from the offenses or those things which are not favorable to Krishna consciousness, we may progress very slow. The name, the holy name, the benefit of the holy name, we will get very less. So, to chant the holy name itself is a big benediction. When I was just going through one, I was once I was in Bombay and one proper disciple I was just passing by and he, he just stopped and he said, do you know what is the greatest achievement a human can have in this lifetime? Then maybe some might say, you know, oh, a big house or big name or you know, big bank balance and this and that. And he said, the biggest achievement is if you are able to chant the holy day. There is no better achievement than this a human can have. And you might think, oh, everybody is able to chant the holy name. What is big in this? You can ask anybody to chant the holy name. Yes, but this chanting is so powerful that simply by chanting, you get the highest benediction possible for you know, anyone in this world. You get the highest benediction while chanting. A chanting, our chanting is so important that entire responsibility or entire um, uh, you know, the weightage of our progress is on, her, on, on, on the way we are chanting. Chanting can be in different ways. Chanting can be in more of, uh, you know, in a laziness and, you know, you know sometimes we, we chant, we want to chant, we love to, we love to chant in different, different ways. We get to know how there are different stages of chanting. But the main point when you chant is uh, they should have a prayerful mood. They should hear what we chant. So I get to chant, that is Krishna's mercy. I want to chant, that is a step forward from my side. But I love to chant, that is my progress in chanting. So Krishna consciousness is so easy that simply by chanting, we can get the highest benediction. And Lord Nishingadev is giving us a special support so that our mind does not get distracted from so many anarthas. Pallad Maharaj says that one should have a simple mind to chant the holy name. Pallad Maharaj says that one should not think that somebody is my friend and somebody is my enemy. Allah Mara says that this is not a Vaikuntha thinking. Vaikuntha flavor, a Vaikuntha nature is that everybody is our friend. Who is our enemy? Our own mind, which is not under control. That's our enemy. So nobody is our enemy except our bad tendencies. So one should work on chanting more efficiently. Bhakti Mahur Thakur says, Kabe Habe Balo Sedina Amar. Bhakti Mahur Thakur says that when the day will come, when I will be able to chant the holy name 
without offenses. So, Pallad Maharaj says, Naivo Dviye Paraduratya Vaitaranyas Tadvije Gayana Maha Amrita Magnajita. Pallad Maharaj says that I have no anxiety for myself because I know how to change your holy name. I learned to change your holy name. And this is the ultimate way to get out of these clutches of Maya. But then Prahlad Maharaj says further, what is my concern? My concern is I am worrying for those who wants to be happy in this material world and those who are um, uh, turning away from you. He says, Naivo Dvijay Paradura Te Vaitaranya Sadvira Gaya Mahamrita Magnajita Shoche Tato Vimukhache Tasa Indriyata I lament for those who are turning away from you. Maya Sukhaya Bharamud Vahato Vimudha So they try to enjoy in illusion and therefore I request my Lord that you please give your mercy to them. This is the way of Prahlad. This is the quality of Prahlad. So when you chant the holy name, we should ask for mercy of our own selves and we should also ask mercy for expanding this society, expanding the movement. Because the best welfare activity is to distribute this holy name. And that is what the mission of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So, this is the mood of Prahlad. Prahlad is asking all the living entities, Kaumara Machiraj Bhagavad Dharman Bhagavatam. Prahlad is asking all the living entities, Shavanam Kirtanam Vishnu, Smaranam Padasaranam. Prahlad is giving this now ninefold devotion service. And Prahlad is asking all the living entities to surrender to the Lord. And Prahlad is asking the Lord to accept all the living entities who are taking shelter. So this is the biggest service Prahlad is trying to do by connecting the Lord with his devotees. And that is what we are supposed to learn from Prahlad. Lord Nishingadev is, is pleased by Prahlad Maharaj. And if we really want to praise Lord Nishinga Dev today is his appearance day. Then we should cultivate the mood what Prahlad had. <clears throat> Prahlad was the dearest child of Lord Nishinga Dev. You see the intensity. Yesterday I was talking to my devotee that there is a famous sloka in Srimad Bhagavatam. Some um, he says that Satyam Vidahatu Nijabritya Bhashitam Yashtim Chabhuteshu Akhileshu Chatmana. In Srimad Bhagavatam, there is a famous sloka where it is said that Satyam Vidahatu, just to fulfill the words of his devotee, Satyam Vidahatu Nijabritya Bhashitam, and he is Akhileshu Chatmana. God is everywhere. He is spread out, he is everywhere, he is within, he is in the wall, he is on your, he is on your seat, he is on your ceiling, he is on building, he is everywhere. But by the intensity of the prayers, by the intensity of the devotion, by the intensity of the love what we have for the Lord, you can make Lord appear even within the pillar. So when you chant with intensity, the Lord appears before you. And Lord Nishingadev, he did not select the pillar. Actually, he could appear from anywhere. He did not require any help from the pillar. He could appear from anywhere, but because Lord because Pala said, my Lord is in pillar also. So Nishingadev 
okay i'll come from the pillar so that is the special uh, because hiranyakashipu was very powerful he could not be handled by any ordinary person yeah. hiranyakashipu was so powerful that uh, indra was using his kurta to to clean his shoes yeah so you can imagine how powerful hiranyakashipu must be yeah. and and pralad he is his own son sitting on his lap and chanting lord vishnu's name in next to his ear the pralad was such a daring and hiranyakashipu was thinking do you know what are you doing all this demigods i can kill in a just just within a minute and you are sitting on my lap and you are chanting lord vishnu's name just next to my ear and everyone was like oh any time hiranyaksha can kill pralad so um but pralad was completely fearless and then hiranyakashipu you know, said how do i kill this boy he's just a small child and the next time again he asked the same question but this time again pralad maharaj glorified vishnu and then hiranyakashipu you know, tried to kill all the ways he had all the different means he wanted to kill pralad but somehow pralad could not be killed pralad never got angry on his father Pralad never thought to retaliate. Pralad never made any arrangement to protect himself. He was simply surrendered to the Lord. And when Hiranyakashipu was thinking, "What kind of child is this?" Then Hiranyakashipu said, "Why are you carrying this protection? Who is protecting you? Who is giving you the strength?" And Pralad said, "Oh." is this this is not a mystery you get the strength the same source i am getting the strength oh then he said where is that strength you mean to say your vishnu is helping you definitely where is that vishnu he is everywhere where do you want to see oh you are making fun of me is this your is there vishnu is in this in this palace yes is here is in the ceiling yes is in the wall yes is in the flooring yes is in the pillar yes okay then i'm going to destroy that pillar then no more pillar no more vishnu no more pralad so then hiranyakashipu he attacked that pillar and the shinga dev he was burning like a fire and he was giving the indication to palad hiding behind the pillar tell this rascal that i am sitting here and palad was oh i was saying lord is there and he actually is there is actually there he then is able to reconfirm is this pillar this is lord your lord is in this pillar also yeah and for hidden nursing they say tell this demon yes that i am here and pala said yes my lord is here and he attacked and lord nursing there the intensity of the love what pala had for the lord the intensity of the love what lord nishinga dev had for palad that made lord nishinga dev extremely angry and he could be pacified only by the sweet prayers of palad maharaj so today we are celebrating this wonderful day of lord nishinga dev by remembering his past time by praying for the protection because this international society for krishna consciousness is international society for krishna consciousness 
is the, is the only hope for the human society. And it is trying to spread the holy name in every, <laughs> in every corner, every nook and corner of the world. This is the prediction of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And many of you devotees are serving like a warrior for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's army. And we need to protect our uh, moment and we need to protect our devotees and we need to protect our own selves to spread this holy name throughout the world. So we should ask that Nishimdeva for the protection for our own selves, for the society, for the devotees, for our gurus and um, for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mission. And this way we can um, get the mercy of Lord Nishimha Dev. So many things to talk on Lord Nishimha Dev's pastimes. Maybe you can discuss today whenever you are about Lord Nishimha Dev. So today we just end it here uh, by chanting one small mantra of Lord Nishimha Dev. Ugram Viram Mahavishnu Vilantam Savatam Kham Nishingam Bhishanam Badram Ratyo Ratyo Namiya Jai Nishinga Dev. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Thank you so much, uh, uh, I missed to inform everybody that uh, Vishwara Prabhu is, uh, is a very staunch uh, devotee of Nishinga Mudev. He is a very special attachment to Mayapur and uh, uh, Lord Nishinga Dev. I have seen it personally. He is a very, very strong attachment and we are so fortunate that you know we are hearing from a uh, devotee of Lord Nishinga Dev on the Appearance day of uh, nursing a day. So, thank you so much, Prabhuji. If there are any questions for Prabhuji, uh, we will open the floor for those questions. You want, take, you want to take this opportunity to thank Vishnu Prabhuji and Kan Prabhu. It is it is such a great pleasure to have uh, Prabhuji, uh, you know, speaking about holy names, importance of holy name, importance of a spiritual life, importance of what Iskhan is giving all of us on this very auspicious day. We are very thankful to you, Prabhuji. I request you to please pray for all of us on this very auspicious day, so that we can become more sincere in our spiritual lives. You all devotees are very nicely conducting this, this kind of sessions and you are also preaching nicely. And I believe that you, in your very place you are living, we have a lot of Nishingadev temple also. Yes, we do have to. So it is a great uh, opportunity. So, Lord Nishingadev. So, well, uh, today Lord Nishingadev is everywhere because of the glories have spread everywhere. So wherever you are, Please chant Lord Nishindya's prayers. Prabhupada wanted this that every day we should chant Lord Nishindya's prayer. So we pray to Lord Nishindya and um, you also pray that I can please my spiritual master, who is also a great devotee of Lord Nishindya. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. His grace, we should Prabhu ki Thank you.